Welcome in this session we are going to learn what is max connection if we increase it what is uh, the impact on the performance and uh, why it is always increased to use the connection pool in Postgre. So as usual everything is mentioned in this notepad and uh, we'll start uh, the steps one by one. The first thing is what is max connection. So when you go to Postgre SQL and you just search for uh, if you say show config underscore file that will show you the okay uh, this is typo this is the location of my configuration file which is postgresql.conf in case you directly wanted to see what is max underscore connection you simply say show max underscore connection so as of now it is 101 um, and uh, the default value is 100 so we will talk what is max connection so max connection is maximum number of concurrent connection that is allowed to PostgreSQL by default it is 100 and it depends upon the kernel parameter which uh, your uh, operating system is going to support and uh, this is set when you when your uh, server is started if you have a standby server which is attached to your primary server in that case this parameter uh, max underscore connection should be slightly on the higher side just as to allow the extra connections to be uh, executed on your standby server if you talk about 100 concurrent sessions that is not always allowed for the uh, the client connections there are few which are reserved by the super user also and that is the uh, this is called as super user reserved connection that means there are three uh, sessions which are uh, three concurrent uh, connections they they can be used by the postgre uh, super user in case they have to do some maintenance and all of the users uh, concurrent connections they are utilized so one of the question which arises is if the max number of connections has already achieved and uh, what action do you need to take do you need to take uh, do you need to increase the number of max underscore connections definitely not this is going to impact your entire system what happens if uh, all the uh, 100 connections that is 97 which is uh, used by the application if they all concurrently access your environment then they are going to take all of your CPU of the system or IO subsystems will be burdened and uh, more the number of connections you are going to have more issues with the RAM which is allotted to your your Postgre. So in general it has been observed that each connections which is uh, connected to your Postgre SQL in general consumes uh, something between 5 to 15 MB even if it is not doing anything. So the resource requirement for the database connection so on your host where your Postgre SQL is running you have the limited RAM and if you increase the uh, number of connections then the uh, the RAM which will be allocated not exactly the RAM uh, the memory which will be allocated to each session will keep on decreasing and there may be a situation wherein your system will run out of memory because the, there will be not enough memory to cater the uh, the application requirement and there is something called as work underscore memory by default if you check this is going to be uh, show work memory this is going to be just 4 MB so if you in case you wanted to uh, there is some mathematical calculation which you can try this is difficult to achieve so you can see over here max connection this should be within uh, lesser than your maximum number of cores which are there on your operating system then parallel io limit which is divided by the session busy ratio multiplied by average parallelism so number of cores uh, parallel io limits that is number of concurrent io request uh, session busy uh, ratio this is a fraction of the time when the connection is active and average parallelism is average uh, number of blocked processes working in a, a single query uh, difficult to uh, calculate but uh, this is a formula which is provided which you can be which this can be used but in general the max number of connections should not be be increased without uh, having um, a detailed uh, analysis why there are more number of connections coming out because this is going to uh, bring your uh, system on knee one of the way to tackle this is uh, you should have a connection pool so connection pool is a kind of software uh, that retains n number of the uh, database connections open so that 
uh, once your connection is done um, it is not going to lose that it will be given back to the pool and the, some other uh, session which is trying to access it they it will be given to that so there are two types of uh, connection one is uh, application uh, side uh, pooling uh, which is called as the connection pool at the application server and another is the database level in uh, application pool uh, the uh, pool uh, takes care of the concurrent session so it doesn't close actually uh, what it does it uh, if a new connection is coming from the application and the previous one has already uh, closed doing it then the uh, it goes back to the pool and once a new request is coming that will be given to the new connection that's that's the way it works in application layer and it is good to have uh, because every time you uh, open a new connection that means you are going to exhaust the resources from your PostgreSQL server. The another way is you can use uh, some of the connection pool at the Postgre level. You have PG Bouncer and PG Pool. They can be used to, to minimize the number of connections and it creates the pool. The pool will be optimally uh, used for making the connections. These are some of the decision making stuff which you can do, but there are more than that. If you have to increase the max connections, then what is that you need to check? So is there any uh, application uh, which is connecting to your uh, Postgre and it is, it is not getting closed or it is getting leaked? Are you using the PG Bouncer or uh, PG Pool for uh, in use? So it is like it is questioning. Are you using the connection pooling? Yes or no? If, it, if you are not using, is there any reason why you are not using? Because you are increasing the number of connections. And the other thing is, if nothing works, you have to decide on increasing the number of max connection. There is no way left out. So max connection depends internally on the shared buffer, which internally depends upon the kernel SHM X, which is at the operating system level. So when I say max connection, it is the maximum number of concurrent connections. In general, it is 100 uh, when you uh, do it, uh, when you install your uh, uh, software and uh, and it has to be uh, shared with, the, uh, it actually depends on, on shared buffer and uh, kernel dot uh, SHM max. So you will see what is that. So kernel dot SHM max is the maximum size of shared memory segment let's say my system has uh, this is my current setting max connection is 100 shared buffer is 128 i wanted to make it double so uh, uh, let's say i make it 200 then you have to increase the shared buffer as well so that the uh, shared buffer which is allocated to uh, to your postgre that should also increase accordingly so we say max connection and shared buffer. Uh, shared buffer is how much memory you are going to allocate to the PostgreSQL for caching the data. And uh, SHM max is the maximum size of shared memory segment. A shared memory um, SHM max is how much of RAM you wanted to allocate so that it will be uh, reserved and it should not be uh, given back uh, anywhere. So if you have 1 GB of RAM and if you check the SHM max, let's say 30 GB, 30% 30 of that you have given to your system, then uh, you have to convert uh, it into two bytes. So let's say 300 MB, uh, you convert into uh, bytes and uh, you set it to your kernel dot SHM max. So you can convert uh, 300 bytes. In, in normal traditional servers, uh, the normal cloud servers where uh, virtual machines are allocated, the, uh, the, the higher value is always more than uh, sufficient. But in case if it is not, then you have to change it. The other thing which you have to change is, is the shared buffer. By default, it will be 128 MB. You need to increase it in case you are going to uh, increase the max number of connection. And this is the, and uh, you can check uh, how many connections are uh, uh, being thrown at your system. So these are the maximum connections reserved for the super users uh, three and uh, there are six which are in use but uh, you should check what is the uh, active inactive and uh, total number of connections which are uh, being thrown to your postgresql so in short max connection is not a straightforward parameter that can be 
increased uh, uh, without uh, digging too much if you are going to increase uh, max underscore connection you have to think about the shared buffer you have to think about the shm max because they are interrelated with each other and above all you need to make sure that connection pooling is enabled in postgresql because postgresql is we say this is memory hunger uh, system because it is going to take more memory if you don't if you keep on increasing your system will run out of memory so in short uh, just check if uh, if uh, there is connection pooling at the application layer or at the database layer something like pg bouncer or pg pool or if not you have to make sure why there are so many uh, connections which are coming out they are not getting closed or they are getting leaked in case if it is finally decided you need to increase the number of connections just make sure you optimize the shared buffers and shm max there is a very good tool which is called as pg underscore tune if you see this there are details related to this so if i make the version 13 os type this web application and if i say i have 4 gb of ram on my system there are two virtual cpus the number of connections are 200 if i'm increasing the storage is ssd storage and it will give you uh, what is the uh, optimal number of the uh, shared buffer which you should uh, keep so I personally flee, uh, feel that uh, this is a good tool to give you some sort of suggestion. These are the optimum suggestions uh, uh, which can be utilized. So in case you do not have any calculator which says how to calculate it and uh, if you have these things handy, the version, the Linux, the operating system type, memory, CPU, number of connections, then PG Tune is going to help you. I hope this is going to help and uh, thank you.